Shalom and good day all this is Tehillim29 back again for Super Sun's Fortress of Attitude with a crossover with Rainbow Press and Comics as I am going to be reviewing Action Comics issue 1054 And uh, starting off with first things first, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that's happening inside with the story? Um, in some essence, it actually does. In the fight with the Metello, or the Metello drones, to which I give a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the first story and its rating. Uh, I managed to do a slight error here when I was getting my written reviews up so i'll be going through them uh, in order as to how the story went out and also what we get story wise and art wise in the rating so as we move into the first story we have the character of osul who's being seen in metropolis of course john oh, osul and osul uh, who comes to Metropolis and help with the scene. Uh, of course, we uh, get some here to which uh, throws all the blame on John, of course, when we all know it's um, the person who brought them over from War World's fault, the Superman's. We get to see a bit of a fight scene between the Metello drones. Some more of the story takes Place, and we get to see Clark Kent. Finally, we get Mattello on the scene, making his appearance and um, giving this imposter John Kent a bit of a whooping for. We get to see more of the scene take place and also things happening with the twins. Quite a nice splash page here and a little bit more. We finally get to see a fight between Mattello and Superman and a super construct <laughs> to take out Mattello. As things draw to a close, we learn a little bit more about Mattello's story and what's happening and how Superman offers some help. So he's not pleased with the idea, he'll go ahead with it anyway. We also get the return of Cyborg Superman, and we also get to see what's happening with Mattello's wife. And now it's Cyborg Superman's turn to come into the picture. Okay, for this first story, I gave it a 7 out of 10. Uh, for the art, I also gave it a 7 out of 10. In regards to the locations that we got to see in here, we got to see um, Metropolis, um, the characters. We got to see Lisa Lombard, who was working at the Daily Planet, um, Ophel and Osul. Uh, we had John Kent, Metello, uh, Metello Drones. Uh, Superman and of course Cyborg Superman and that's why it got a 7 out of 10 now it's time to move into the next story which centers around our favorite John Samuel Kent and as our story begins we get to see some things occurring with Gligvana and John Samuel Kent story continues and we get to see some more happening with the story and because she saved not because he saved her from the crash she also heals him up and we learn that she does actually have an ability to which might actually reverse age a character as the story continues we have Clark Kent and Lois Lane working together against Doombreaker and we slowly draw towards what Gavana's whole plan is. Of course we do catch up with Doombreaker and the return of Kilbeck and the cold hard place where 
he learns that she is the villain. He might want to be careful which supers he trusts. <laughs> So, for this story, of course, I believe it takes place outside of Metropolis. Um, we had the cast of characters of John Samuel Kent, uh, Gravana, Superman, of course, Lois, Doombreaker, and Killamek. Uh, for the internal art, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. I did enjoy it more than the main. And for the story, a 9 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the third story, to which focuses on John Henry Irons at Stillworks and we get to see the beginning of the story here we learn of an event that's happening around him and Amalgam us we the reader are given a bit of history uh, in regards to the character of John Henry Irons who became Still and was inspired by Superman supposed to be like him we catch up again with amalgam until it becomes a press conference time and it appears that we have amalgam watching things behind the scenes to um basically drop still from his high horse for this story i gave it an 8 out of 10 i really enjoyed it uh, for the art, a 7.5 out of 10. The locations that we got, the scene in this story, we had Metropolis and also the Stillworks and by John Henry Irons. Uh, the key cast of characters were Steel, uh, Superman, Connor Kent, Cyborg Superman, who made an appearance in there, and last but not least, the character of Amalgam. Uh, for the overall... I've already given the story rating, which is an 8 out of 10. Definitely re recommend you pick this up. So we'll see you again at Super Sun's Fortress of Attitude, which are uh, quite likely the next issue to be covered um, around the Super Sons uh, will be Adventures of John Kent. I'm not saying the other thing. Um, issue 3. Only because th there's a little bit from the second issue that gives me a small hint of will I or won't I continue the series um, or will I worry about picking up the series in trade paperback later uh, quite likely it could be become the latter and of course see you again at Super Sun's Fortress of Attitude and um, have yourself an awesome day uh, in regards to the content that is related to Rainbow Press and Comics, which would be Story 1 and also Story 3.